day three here in Louisiana at my buddy's place. It's a beautiful morning, high pressure. About 30 degrees, we have a light and variable wind. It's supposed to be southeast, which would blow back where we're coming from, but it's, it's kind of switching between southeast to northeast. We came in and did a hanging hunt on this little ridge. We've got a big uh, water hole behind us that's full of wood ducks. The deer kind of run this ridge and then they, they cruise back and forth along the edge of it. There's a big thicket that you can see. It looks open over there and another one over here. We've seen, uh, we've seen one deer so far as that heavy seven pointer from the first night, which I mean, he's definitely one I would shoot. Um, he skirted us at 80 or 90 yards. I tried calling to him, he just wasn't interested. We're basically set up back in the bedroom of where that heavy nine is that we saw last night. Um, hoping to just catch him coming back in here. I got the green light at the camp. He put him up on the TV. He looks mature by 140 class, so pretty cool deer. Like I said, it feels great this morning, so hopefully I have some good action. At least we're seeing mature deer. Hard to beat a nice morning in the woods.
about 11 o'clock. We're going to start packing up and uh, head in for lunch. We ended up seeing two more bucks after after my initial interview. And we had a mature buck that I almost got a shot at. But uh, he managed to get away from us. And then saw a button buck later. The loggers actually came in. They hadn't been in. It was too wet. But um, my buddy's place, they have a really good forest management uh, program. And they usually cut about 100 acres per year off of this whole place. And uh, anyway, the, the forester, and it looked like a couple of the guys came in to work on equipment or check out the next site or whatever. Um, I thought that might have been it for a while. We ended up having a young buck chase a doe by about an hour ago and uh, nothing since then. So things have quieted down. We're going to get back on one of those food plots tonight, either make a move on that, that nine or get back to that first plot we hunted where we had multiple four-plus-year-olds. Anyway, very beautiful day. It's supposed to warm up to about 60, so we'll see how the deer movement is this afternoon. We've made the move uh, back to the same food plot we hunted last night. Last night we had a north wind, tonight we have a southeast wind, so we came to the other side of the food plot. And this is actually where all the deer were hanging out. That uh, big nine came out just off of my left shoulder and came up this long, narrow chute and chased the does around, then he exited back behind me through this slough. Who knows where he is, if that doe is hot. I mean, he could be a mile away, but uh, I figured we'd come back here and see if he can't do the same thing again. Or maybe we'll have another mature buck come out. We set up in this small uh, pin oak and I was able to cut two good lanes. We're right on the edge of the field. Awesome setup, lots of cover. And we had, uh, I think it was eight or so does come out right here last night. So that's a good spot to be this time of year with the pre-rut kicking out. It's about 65 yards across. So I'll be able to shoot most of this field beautiful it's upper 50s just clear bluebird high pressure day so I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the afternoon
we just got back to the Kubota. Had another awesome night in the woods. Um, we couldn't do the interview in the tree. We ended up having about 10 there in the field right at last light. A couple of bucks just nudging those around. One was a three-year-old. One, I couldn't quite tell if it was three or four. We saw both of those bucks uh, last night. Anyway, some nice uh, eight points. The big nine, I think he came in behind us. We saw a really mature dark horn deer that I could tell it was at least an eight, but I'm fairly certain it was the same a buck from last night. He came in directly behind us with a doe, and they got in that slew of water. And uh, they were seemed like they were going to cross it, but they ended up not crossing. They ended up continuing down the slew and just heading back into the timber. So no luck with him tonight. But overall, a good night in the woods. We're going to uh, get back to camp and see what everybody else saw and uh, make a plan for tomorrow.